If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. Uh, when your owner talked about Masson and the creation of Masson before it was even named, uh, some of that money was supposed to be earmarked toward payroll and toward making things better. Were promises made to you three years ago in regard to upping the payroll and being more on a par or trying to chase the Red Sox or Yankees instead of doing it the way that, uh, that no, you said? I, I went the other way. Actually, do spend massive money on our payroll, you know, by, and, and now even more so. So this, you know, if, I think if you're going to be analytical and objective, you have to understand that when, for better or worse, and it might be for worse, but when I came here, there was a shift in the mentality. We're going to be a scouting and development oriented organization. We're going to throw our money where we are on even field, I think, with our opponents, and we're not going to chase every free agent. And get a payroll up of 140 million dollars. This franchise can't sustain that. Doesn't matter who owns the team. Doesn't matter who owns the whatever. It can be done. Tampa shows. It can be done. It's not impossible. And we sure can do better than we've been doing. So no promises were broken. And if you don't like the direction the team took, it's more my, it's more management than it is ownership. How incumbent is it upon you to create profit for for the owner? Does that does that come into play? Uh, baseball. Stuff in Chicago on all the baseball all the time. And that's just the way I like it, by the way. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.